Hey guys, today I'll be talking about vitamin C. This will be broken up into two parts and this will be part one. What is vitamin C? Vitamin C, otherwise known as ascorbic acid, is a water-soluble vitamin that is an important antioxidant. Dietary sources of vitamin C are essential due to the absence of the enzyme L-galuno-gamma-lactone oxidase in the body. Good sources of vitamin C include citrus fruits and leafy green vegetables. Vitamin C used topically produces various skin benefits and as this vitamin is a strong antioxidant, it contributes to reduce free radical damage and provides protection to the skin against UVB radiation. Additionally, discoloration is brightened with regular use including improvements in melasma, post-acne discoloration and pigmentation. It also acts as an immunostimulant, strengthening the immunity of the skin which with excessive UV, UVB exposure becomes weakened. Carcinogenic changes in the skin are also reduced and additionally MMP1 activity is inhibited which is an enzyme of the melanoproteinases that are responsible for degradation of collagen and elastin. So the main roles of collagen includes antioxidant properties, regulating collagen synthesis which de decreases as we age as well as improving skin elasticity and minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Stability. Most initial cosmeceutical formulations were consisted of the active form of vitamin C, uh, ascorbic acid. However, there were issues with these products and when exposed to air, ascorbic acid oxidized to dehydroascorbic acid, which in turn caused the products to turn yellow. Ascorbic acid is an unstable hydrophilic charged molecule and penetration is difficult due to the stratum corneum being hydrophobic. Aqueous formula formulations of ascorbic acid must be at a pH which is lower than a pKa of 4.2 to enable penetration into the epidermis. The stability of ascorbic acid is affected by high temperatures, pH, oxygen and catalytic metal ions. Strategies including developing oxygen resistant packaging, lower pH, encapsulation and addition of electrolytes and added antioxidants improves the stability of ascorbic acid. Current formulations of ascorbic acid have been chemically modified by esterification of the hydroxyl group. Various derivatives of vitamin C include sodium ascorbyl phosphate, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate and ascorbyl 6-palmitate. These derivatives are preferred as these are more stable compared to ascorbic acid. Topical ascorbic acid can be formulated to be both stable and enable good penetration into the skin. And in a study by Pinel et al in 2001, 15% ascorbic acid with a pH of 3.2 was applied daily to the skin for three days and saturated levels increased over a 20 fold over the control. Once the skin was saturated, ascorbic acid stayed in the tissue with a half-life of four days. Delivery systems including nano suspensions and micro emulsions are used in recent formulations to stabilize and deliver ascorbic acid into the skin better. Derivatives of vitamin C. Due to the instability of ascorbic acid, derivatives including ascorbyl 6-palmitate, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, tetraisopalmitol ascorbate, sodium ascorbyl phosphate, ascorbyl 2 glycoside, ascorbyl 2 phosphate 6-palmitate and 3-O-ethyl ascorbate are preferred in formulations due to the increased stability. Ascorbyl 2 glycoside ascorbyl 6-palmitate and tetraisopalmitol ascorbate are non-saline derivatives of ascorbyl, ascorbic acid and exhibit greater stability in a formulation. The most significant ascorbic acid derivative is ascorbyl 2-glycoside due to the prevention of oxidation and reduction. This derivative is broken down by A-glucodiase to release ascorbic acid and glucose. Ascorbyl 6-palmitate is a synthetic ester of ascorbic acid and is stable in cosmetic formulations. Ascorbic acid and palmitic acid are gained from the hydrolysis of ascorbyl palmitate. 
Ascorbyl palmitate is an anti-inflammatory agent and antioxidant. This derivative can minimise redness in burns from UV exposure by up to 50%. Ascorbyl 2-phosphates contains sodium and magnesium salts in their formulations. This derivative is stable if the pH of the solution is 7 and the conversion to ascorbic acid determines this, the effectiveness of this derivative. The preferred ascorbyl ester is magnesium or ascorbyl 2-phosphate due to the high stability. This ester provides protection against UVB radiation. Magnesium ascorbyl phosphate has the ability to penetrate into the epidermis and produce ascorbic acid due to the removal of a phosphate group from the cell membrane, otherwise known as dephosphorylation. In a study, melasma and senile freckles improved following the application of a 10% form topical formulation of ascorbyl phosphate and magnesium. This derivative has also been proven to provide photoprotective effects, improving collagen synthesis and acting as a scavenger against free radical damage. Ascorbyl 2-phosphate to um, 6-palmitate can penetrate the skin and be transformed into ascorbic acid following delivery. And finally, 3-O-ethyl ascorbate has a higher lipophilicity compared to ascorbyl 2-glycoside as a result of chain-breaking agents. It penetrates the skin greater than other derivatives because of the lipophilic and hydrophilic capabilities. This molecule is used in skin conditioning products and is a good skin whitening ingredient due to the antioxidant um, activity. Topical formulations of ascorbic acid. The formulation of ascorbic acid is determined by the concentration. Generally, ascorbic acid concentrations need to be higher than 8% to be biologically active in the skin. Studies have found that concentrations higher than 20% can prompt skin irritation. Therefore, desired effects are achieved with formulations of ascorbic acid higher than 8%. Safety. Topical vitamin C is safe to use for long periods and for daily use. It can be used alone or in conjunction with other topical products or with more invasive procedures. Mild adverse effects including skin irritation, tingling and tightness can be observed. However, ascorbic acid is safe to use in topical applications and has beneficial effects with minimal adverse effects. Thank you.